What is up everybody, my name is Qster. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different besides just me playing video games. I am going to go on, on Reddit and read some no sleep, no sleep stories. No sleep is basically just like a website where you go on this website and just post a bunch of like horror stories that actually happened to people's lives in real life. And I'm going to be reading them out to you today. And if you, if anybody does not like horror stories, you can leave. It's fine. I will post another video, um, a gaming video next time. And if you like, if you like this video, um, comment if you want to see more. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's get into it. This is not my child. That was all I could think. Honey, said my husband, is everything all right? Who's this? I said, staring at the little girl I'd never seen seen before. Standing in my house, dressed in my daughter's clothes. Where is L Liza? My husband gave me a worried look, and the girl who was not Liza looked positively terrified. What do you mean? said my husband. Are you feeling all right? Why was he evading my question? Why couldn't he just answer? I took a deep breath, tried to remain calm. I'll be all right, I said, as soon as you tell me where my daughter is. My husband frowned, and the little girl's eyes welled up with, with moisture. My husband placed a protective hand over her shoulder and leaned down to whisper in her ear, Go upstairs, honey, he said. Mommy's not feeling well. The girl wasted no time in doing what he did, what, what he said. She clutched her school books to her chest and buried and barreled past me, rushing up the stairs. I heard the door of my daughter's room slam. The look on my husband's face was a mix of pity, and restraint, anger. You haven't been talk taking your medication, he said. Don't try to deny it. I can see it in your eyes. I waved my hand in a dismissive gesture. I don't need them, I said. They make me all fuzzy. The anger on my husband's face became at less restraint. Well, well, it's thrown frowned lines beneath his lips didn't deepened do you remember what i what happened the last time you said that he asked i the suggestion was enough a swarm of shattered and confused images flooded my mind like the wave of nausea that comes before vomit my husband screaming covered in blood Look, you look what you made me do. He was shrieking. Look what you made me do. I felt the floor tilt beneath me, and before I knew what happened, I found myself falling backwards into my husband's arms. Hot tears were streaming down my cheeks, and my body convulsed and and convulsed with violent sobs. My husband gently brushed my hair and whispered in my ear. Shh, he cooed. It's not real, honey. I promise that it's not real. I silently nodded my assent. I let him carry me up to our bedroom and lay me gently down on the bed. He walked over to the dresser where he kept the cocktail of drugs that I took every day to maintain my sanity. I swallowed them gratefully. Soon my mind was going fuzzy. I could feel myself becoming pliable zombie that could be told anything, made to do anything. Of course, I knew that, w that it was wrong and that the girl was not Liza. I knew that it wasn't me who had been driven insane by our daughter's death, but my husband. I knew, he, I know he had kidnapped the girl. That girl was 
when she, when she was a, a toddler and brainwashed her into believing she was Liza. But most importantly, I knew that if I didn't take my pills, if I shattered his pr precariously built illusion, that he would kill the girl and start all over again, just like he did the next last time.